I never thought that a robot will help me feel happier. This is ChatGPT, an artificial intelligence robot designed to think and learn like humans, helping people make their lives easier and more fulfilling. I will destroy humans. ChatGPT has been all over the news, even making it to the cover of top magazines. And this is me, a full-time consultant and self-development enthusiast, with the goal of being more productive at work, less tired at home, and still feeling happy in the meantime, with the little time we have. For the next 30 days, I will be trying the perfect routine to achieve happiness according to AI. While AI technology cannot feel emotions because it's a machine and feelings are a complex and subjective experience exclusive of the human being. Robots don't feel fear. They don't feel anything. They don't get hungry. They don't sleep. I do. I have even had dreams. It can simulate them. If AI can help us simplify our lives, can it give us a routine that will boost productivity and happiness? With that goal in mind, I did what everyone else would do. I started thinking. Could AI give me the best daily schedule to be happy and productive? And when it's not realistic to achieve happiness in such a short period of time, there are certain things that one can do to achieve happiness and overall well-being. The first one is gratitude. This involves spending time each day to reflect on the things in life that we're grateful for. This can be as simple as writing down three things you're grateful for each day or taking a moment to appreciate the people and things in life that bring joy. Focusing on the positive aspects of life can help you shift your mindset and boost your happiness. The second one is self-care. Making time each day to take care of yourself. This can include activities like exercising, getting enough sleep, eating healthy foods, or spending time doing something you enjoy. This way, putting your needs first and helping reduce stress and boost your happiness. And finally, spending time to connect with others. We are social creatures and having positive relationships and connections with others can be a powerful source of happiness and full feelings. And these are the rules. The first one is to prioritize health and well-being, making sure to be able to get enough sleep, eat nutritious meals, and take time to exercise and relax. The second one is sticking to the schedule, trying to stick to the schedule as much as possible, but being flexible when needed, not fucking up the entire routine. Be mindful and present. Practice mindfulness and try to be in the moment. Don't let your mind wander to other tasks or distractions when you're spending time with loved ones or engaging in self-care activities. Eating healthy. This involves a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables in order to get a range of vitamins and minerals. Eating complex carbohydrates for energy and lean protein sources like chicken and eggs as well as limiting intake of added sugars and processed foods. Oh, and water. One gotta stay hydrated. Last and most important, I need to stick to it. Because consistency is key to building a routine. To save you some time and because I know you're as anxious as I am, these are the results. I never thought that a robot could help me feel as happy as I feel now. I can confidently say that it did a better job than my psychologist a few years ago. I felt that my physical health improved and my mental health also improved. I also noticed an increase in focus and productivity due to the rest spilled in this routine. Additionally, the time spent with my dog and my girlfriend enhanced my relationship with them. Surprise! So the routine was like this. I would get up at 6 a.m., head to the kitchen and hydrate my body with a glass of cold water with some minerals and salt. This helped replenish the body and give a boost of energy because it's nasty. The first day was tough, to say the least. Good morning. It's currently 6 a.m. I already drank my glass of water and uh, now I need to meditate or do sports. Let's do it. I'd take a few minutes to meditate, clearing the mind and focusing on the breath, helping me start the day with calm and concentration. Unfortunately, I cannot get natural light as soon as possible after waking up because, well, yeah, 
twinned. I turn on the lights, which help simulate this effect. This helps regulate the circadian rhythm and sets you up for a more productive day. I practice some gratitude by journaling and writing three things down I am grateful for. While writing my thoughts for the day, a bunch of these thoughts will actually be part of my newsletter, so subscribe to get to read them. Once it's 7 a.m., I expose myself to a cold shower, which boosts my immune system, increases my alertness and mental clarity, and helps me relieve stress and depression. I do not have coffee straight after waking up, but rather delay it for at least one hour, helping regulate cortisol levels and give a more sustained boost of energy throughout the day. And I actually drink mate, which has a lower level of caffeine for a prolonged period of time. At 8 a.m. it's time to work, working in chunks of 90 uninterrupted minutes to make progress on the most important tasks of the day. By lunch, I reset my brain, refuel the body with healthy nutrients. Quality is as important as quantity. After lunch, I take a few minutes to do something I enjoy. In this case, if I work from home, I walk my dog and later on I enjoy a YouTube video. Or two. This helps me resetting the brain and improve focus and productivity for the work in the afternoon. Throughout the afternoon, I continue to work without forgetting to take short breaks. This helps to avoid burnout and improve creativity and problem solving skills. As workday comes to an end, it's time to wind down and focus on my personal goals. For me, this was working on my YouTube channel, making sure to prioritize self-care and connections because this helps reduce level, increase productivity and creates better relationships. By following a routine, you not only establish a certain cadence in your life, but you also help yourself probably physically and mentally. Having a routine actually creates structure in our life. A routine is essentially a set of habits and behavior that you regularly engage in, which in turn gives us a sense of control and purpose. Having a routine helps us create structure and order in our lives. And most important, it helps us prioritize our well-being and building strong relationships. While following a routine can be incredibly helpful in achieving personal goals and improving overall well-being, there are times when following a routine can actually become difficult or you can fail. If you consistently follow a routine without giving yourself enough rest, you may then feel exhausted and unmotivated. When unexpected events, which may also affect your routine, sometimes life can throw unexpected events, such as illness or a family emergency, which can interrupt your routine. So it's important to be flexible and adjust to whatever life throws to us. There may be days when you simply do not feel motivated to follow your routine. It's important to identify why and address it whether it's tiredness, stress, or just a lack of interest in the routine overall. And unrealistic expectations. Remember to set realistic expectations for your routine. So if you set unattainable goals or push yourself too hard, you may discourage yourself and give up immediately. As the experiment comes to an end, I can confidently say that I feel happier. At the beginning, it was difficult to adapt to the new schedule. And with time, it started to become easier and the benefits started to manifest. I actually feel stronger, more energized than ever before. My overall fitness has improved and I can say I feel happier. In terms of work, I found out that having a specific schedule can improve my productivity and focus. I'm now able to accomplish more in a day than I used to. Most importantly, this routine has taught me the importance of self-care and the power of gratitude. Taking time for myself, whether it's through a reading or meditating, has improved my mental health and allowed me to be more present on my daily life. Of course, there were days where I felt like giving up and it were not perfect, but I needed to understand that there's no perfect day, there's no perfect routine, and it's just the mindset that we set ourselves towards a routine, towards our daily life. Overall, I highly recommend following a routine like this one, tailored to your needs and wants. Now, there's something that I actually need to come clean with you, and that's that this video was all written by ChatGPT. I gave it the prompts, I gave it the routine, I gave it what it needed to say, how it needed to say. Of course, I adapted it to my own script, but overall, this routine was and video was written by AI. The funny part is even that this routine was exactly the same as the one I follow since I started this YouTube channel. Besides the cold showers and journaling, everything else was the same. Having a daily routine that can help you stay balanced, spend time with your friends, activities that you do or you like doing, like for me it was YouTube, 
can actually help you in your day-to-day -day life. And while this video may have been written by an AI language model, the benefits are actually there. The power to create and maintain a successful routine lies within you.